And then um, I had two more rhubarbs, and um, they are actually doing really well out here. Again, they were pretty, um, all these plants were in a lot of shock and um, dehydrated uh, when I bought them because they were only $1.50. And um, now they're doing really well. They're coming back up. Got a couple extra uh, on them. This here is an elderberry that I harvested in the spring. And it started growing some really nice uh, branches. And it even had budded. And I don't know what happened. Either it's from our wind because it's just too harsh. It's dried them out. This plant also, all of these plants have been getting watered regularly. Um, so I don't understand why they're all dried out. Um, they were doing so well. So we'll see how these take the rest of the summer. And then here in the shaded area, it's another rhubarb plant. growing. I bought a full spectrum LED light um, to, to experiment with and I also have a 10,000 lumen Harbor Freight uh, shop light in my house for my tomato plants. And my plants. I am using a 5,000 lumen LED shop light. Sorry, I'm going to come over here. And um, I have fruit on my um, on my fig trees. So if it's working at 5,000 lumens, I'm imagining the 10,000 would be even um, better, but we'll see how it goes. Gonna experiment with that. Um, this here is a rhubarb. No, no, I'm sorry. This is an elderberry. Take that back. Um, I, this is another one that I harvested out of the mountains in the spring. And um, it had one little branch on it. Here it broke off and it's sending out a new green shoot right there. I don't know if you can see it. There it is, a new green shoot. So I'm trying to keep it covered. I better put some more sawdust or straw in there. Keep that covered. Keep it um, uh, moist. And uh, I have a lot of cleanup, guys. Please forgive me on this. But, you know, all this, these last couple of years, we've been doing a lot of building crap building crap and so it's a junkyard here but eventually I promise this place is gonna look really nice when we're done with it we're gonna be able to put more focus on landscaping and um, with the gardens going um, I think that this place will pretty up quite a bit especially once we figured out all the kinks about how to use pellets to make our fencing and um, you know, like what I'm doing here, this is not going to stay here. It's not going to, it's going to change because I've come up with a new design. And then I can beauty them up. I don't want to put time into making them look good and make them look too fancy until I make sure that everything stays put and the wind doesn't blow it down. So, um, anyway, yeah, this will all change. Um, so all this crap's got to get cleaned up. I finally got my greenhouse all planted and um, kind of prettied up a little bit. Uh, ignore the crap outside. I will be working on cleaning that up. I know I said that already, but you know, I'm a little slow at getting stuff done, uh, but it will get done. Anyway, um, so uh, my one tomato plant uh, that was over here did not survive the transplant. And um, I put in a, a pineapple. Um, let's see if that baby works. Uh, it did have some roots on it and all of that fun stuff. So we'll see how it goes. So far it's doing okay and it's, it's staying green. Um, and I did lose one of my yellow bell peppers right there. That didn't do so well. Um, but these guys here are doing well. They're getting taller. They've got flower buds on them. Uh, this... Where is it? 
this right there is kind of got in the shadow here, but this is a, um, what is that? A habanero? Yeah, a habanero plant that is was struggling along with my yellow bell pepper there. I don't know if there's something in the soil that's right there in that particular spot, or maybe it's this shadow that's, uh, not doing so well but either way um it is struggling it's starting it looks like it has a little teeny tiny little flower bud at the top uh but it's it's doing okay got these strawberries all planted in finally my cucumber is doing great my um what is that rhubarb right here is uh doing a little uh, slow growing. Um, I don't know if it's because it's in this uh, greenhouse area um, or if it's uh, because it's just not getting enough light. Um, but it is getting new new uh, leaves here, which is great. My grapes are just going awesome, but I did not put them in the ground. They're in the pots. Um, and I did do a little bit of pruning. Okay, it is July 4th, so happy 4th of July, everyone. Um, a miracle has actually happened. We did some work and got this place cleaned up. It's not completely done, but it's a good start considering what it looks like beforehand. So um, here's my fencing deal that I was talking about upgrading and um, it's not completed uh, this right here is actually kind of like what it's going to be as, as it's done because I'm going to continue that over to the gate um, this top area here is a, a planter and um, I did just do a sample thing of wild plants that are growing here um, flowers and they're they're struggling but we have like some really nice orange different textures and this is of course on its way out um, but it has new flower buds on them um, and uh, this will create a nice texture um, in this uh, my flower potting area when I finish it and um, you know I'll continue this fencing through now um, what I had to do is put these normally I was going to do a box where I would do bushes uh, build a box and then a blank panel and then another box but um, I'm going to do in this section an herb garden um, there's I have two rhubarbs here and here and then an elderberry bush um, so I'm going to uh, try to throw in some wildflowers or whatever in here. Those tires I'm going to build um, for my tire um, potato tower. Um, so I'm going to try and do some potatoes, but it might be too late because it's so late in the year. And um, I need to put some posts in and frame in this door. Um, so that will be my entrance into my little garden section. And the greenhouse, and again, all of these pallets are going to be trimmed up like this with these wood slabs to kind of beautify it up when, with planters on the tops. And here's the greenhouse. Um, oh, I have a chicken in there. Get out, buddy. Get out. Um, oh, lady, get out. What are you doing? <laughs> this is why I got to have it closed up. My Tidy Treats tomato is um, getting better, but it died back halfway. Tomatoes are still on there. My grapes, of course, are still doing really well. And I even have... See if I can see it. Baby grapes. Guys, I'm so excited about that. Everything is doing well. My peas are not so well. Um, but um, we had a lot of rain, so everything's kind of yellowing. I think I, I think I was right on these two being overwatered. Uh, that yellow bell died, sadly, and my um habanero is still struggling but it's growing so that's good news mr lead that pineapple's for you in honor of you we'll see if it grows i'm in montana that might have to get dug up and uh later and put into a uh a pot and grown indoors so this is the latest stage of where I'm at. I still have a long way to go. I'm closing my gate, guys. Uh, but we did clean up. That's an um, apple tree. <clears throat> um, what is that? That's a honey crisp. 
and um, I'm gradually these are all native plants and this for the past two years I've been working on um, I'm weeding out the unwanted plants lily this is my lily goat she always gets out stop it baby gets into trouble another elderberry bush lil stop eating that and uh but anyway these plants come back every year and i like it because it's a really nice pretty carpet and the flowers are uh, really pretty nice uh yellow um about that size flowers on them so gradually working to get them to spread along the walkway um and that junk pile's got to get relocated and so forth but like, like i said we have come a long way um from what it looked like before so it, it is a miracle for me and my husband and um you know time will just help everything get better every time we just keep working on it and working on it so thanks for watching